Praise the Lord, everybody. What's up? What's up? This is your brother in Christ, Dre Hill, and I am here with another uh, Church House Snapshot interview. Got a special guest here, and um, I'm getting ready to bring him uh, on the stage with us, uh, with me, and uh, his name is Gerard Brooks. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? What up? <laughs> Praise man, how you doing? You I'm doing right? great, man. All right, doing good, great. Doing good, real good. Good. Um, first of all, man, I want to thank you for uh, being a part, you know, of, of just allowing me to use that, that your uh, song, uh, Flame. It's a blessed song, man. And, um, Praise God. Yeah, and um, and so I wanted to definitely use it, you know, the the, the words and, and the meaning of it uh, mm. to me um, is where our hearts and our minds should be, you know, especially that part if it's not like you. Mm -hmm. You know, burn it away. You know, I was yeah. like, "Wow, that's that's serious." You mm -hmm. know, because <laughs> yeah. nobody like to be burned. But no. you know, <laughs> but um. So again, thank you for being a part of uh. Welcome to Faith Town. What what are you currently doing? I know you just uh, you know what uh, the the song has been uh, moving for a little bit. Uh, where is it taking you so far? Oh wow. Um. Well, I mean, it has really uh, kind of changed my life. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. As I said uh, in other in previous interviews, um, the song started out as a it was just a song that I was just singing at an at an event, uh, just literally right off the top of my head. And well, I won't say off the top of my head, but I'll say from my heart to okay. God. Okay. And um, ever since then, we've been singing it like like all around the country, all around. Mm -hmm. Uh, different churches around the city. Wow! And um, it's been really doing really good. I mean, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have a record deal. I don't have a record label. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything backing me. Okay. But God's favor has just been on this song okay. ever since we've been singing it, and um, you know, just getting it's getting rotation in in Dallas and uh, heavily down south, and mm. uh, especially in Detroit. Um, so I give all glory to God. Uh, I was I was just I just found out that uh, I, I don't remember the uh, awards uh, show, mm -hmm. but I was nominated as gospel Ar gospel male artist of the year. Wow! And I don't okay. even know how I was even nominated. <laughs> I don't wow. know. Okay. But um, well, that's a, that's a real blessing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so we so we recorded the song we recorded uh me and my partner sean mcclain what's up sean big ups to him <laughs> uh my producer and uh we have been recording songs and, and just gathering songs and so mm -hmm. uh we're hoping sometime in september uh okay. that we'll have a full project and uh, we're trying to just put put positive music out there right. music that honors god music right. that glorifies god and and unashamedly declare that Jesus is Lord. Yes. So. When, I, when I heard the song and, and um, as we were uh, hunting for different scenes and stuff like that, um, I know we had the, a church scene that we wanted that, uh, to use. And and so, um, and I was praying, I was like, Lord, so, you know, who? And and, uh, and so then, you know, uh, I, I think I think it was a, at uh, a Good Son. Uh, Good mm -hmm. Sons Church, and uh, yeah, and you were there, and you did it, and because uh, I heard it before, but when I actually saw you do it, I was like, man, this is it, <laughs> you know, this is it, amen. <laughs> and so, um, so it took nerve to for me to ask you, because oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, because yeah. you could have said, no, man, you know, <laughs> but but no, I, um, but uh, yeah, you came to the church and and um, and uh, you know, did a did an excellent job. I mean, what comes to your mind when you think of of uh? of the faith town what what do you what does it mean to you well um i think of hope you okay. know i'm i'm uh it's it's a very unique title for a movie okay. <laughs> uh faith town I'm, I'm 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 thinking when i when i hear the movie that uh you know it's a place where you can find hope you can find mm -hmm. strength mm -hmm. and uh you know that the, that the people uh, would would embrace you when you come. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing in the movie. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of serious stuff. Yeah. That yeah. Uh, people, normal, ordinary people, mm -hmm. go through. Right. And, uh, we all have ups and downs. Uh, no matter what background we we come from, whether we're right. in church, whether we're not in church. Right. Uh, sometimes uh, when we when we're on that path to God, sometimes we go through struggles and we yes. go through heartaches and we go through uh different experiences in our lives right you know and 
And and a lot of times what happens is those things uh, are the things that pull us closer to God. That's true. And so I'm hoping that this movie uh, will convey to people that you know whatever you're dealing with, whatever whatever you're struggling with, mm -hmm. um, you can come to God. Right. And God will God will embrace you, and He'll He'll you know He'll 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 call you His own, His right. own child. So um, I'm I'm looking forward to people. Uh, people's lives being changed mm -hmm. and people being ministered to. Yeah, man, and and um, I, I, you know, even though though um, you, you didn't have the, the inside scoop, you know, it was almost like a trick question. But yeah, you know, I, I don't, I, I haven't seen the movie. I, I was just in some scenes. I have no idea what the movie's about. I'm just going off the, you know. Right. What's, what's one of the biggest challenges uh, uh, that you might have faced that, that you feel like you can share? Wow, I mean, every day is a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> there's always a mountain to climb, and there's always a hill and a valley to go through. No, but uh, but uh, man, I, I've I've had my share of uh, ups and downs in life. Um, I've had my share of uh, disappointments. Sure. Um, even uh, doing music. Um, okay. I remember there was a there was a particular uh, time in my life where um, I was I was kind of at a place where I wanted to give up music, I wanted to kind of stop <laughs> yeah, music honestly. because you know sometimes you feel like you know is is it really benefiting mm -hmm. anyone? Mm -hmm. you know, am mm -hmm. I benefiting from this? Right, right. Are the wheels just spinning and I'm not going anywhere? Right. You know, and and then uh, also on Sunday mornings, you know, you, you kind of struggle with you know. Uh, you know, people uh, not receiving you and, and things like that. You know, and it's you know, and it, it got kind of frustrating. And um, and then you look at people who are excelling and they're not living anything. Right, right. Oh you man. You know, they're, yes, they're, they're doing anything they want to do. Right. And then they go and they're successful and all of this and all of that. Yeah. But uh, one of my real good friends, uh, you know, we were having a conversation. And he said something to me that I will never, ever, ever forget. Okay. And that really changed the way that I look at what I do. Okay. Um, he said, you know, I was, you know, just, just, you know, sharing with you what I just shared yeah. with him. Yeah. What I just shared with you. Right. And he said to me, he said, he said, man, you know what? A lot of times God hides us from what could have hurt us. Hmm. A lot of times, God don't allow things to happen in our lives because those are things that probably would have uh, made us stray from God. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, I never really thought of it like that. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of times, you know, you, you hear people saying, man, I got to get my grind on. I'm out here grinding. Yeah, I'm right, out here, right. you know, but at the same time, you know, a lot of, God wants us to be still mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that we could hear his voice. Right. You know, Absolutely. and that was that was a revelation to me because I realized that I, I I don't have to try to do anything but please him. Right. Absolutely. You know, and then once once I got that, you know, on the inside of me, once mm -hmm. I got that revelation mm -hmm. that, you know, the reason why that didn't happen or the reason why that didn't go forth in my life mm -hmm. was because that that may have hurt me spiritually mm -hmm. or that might have, that might have hurt me physically or that right. that may have been that that could have very well turned me away from the lord yeah that's true. you know that's true and so that even revolutionized the way that i worship god mm -hmm. you know this when i when i praise and worship god it's not necessarily for the people okay it's for god okay you know and once I started doing it, it just seemed like doors just begin to open. Um, last thing, um, uh, for somebody out there that is uh, struggling with uh, with their gift, or, or they're or they're struggling about you know who they are in Christ, or or uh, uh, why am I here on this earth? Uh, what can you say to them to encourage them uh, in their gift or in their, in their walk? Or well. One thing that uh, I remember some years ago, and I love telling this story, um, my kids, uh, they came home from school one day and they were 
just all upset and been out of shell shape. And I'm like, uh, well, what's wrong? You know, what's going on? And they were talking about, well, you know, so-and-so, they was talking about me and they said that this is, I got this problem and, and I look like this and I look like that. And some in me just, just rose up and just got, I, I had a, what you call it, a righteous indignation. Mm -hmm, okay. And I said, I said, you know what? I said, you were created for the glory of God. Mm. You were made in God's image and you were made in God's likeness. When God formed you, he made you, with, he, he, he created you, you know, just like him. Mm. And you were created for his glory. So what I would like to let people know is that God has a purpose and a plan for your life. Amen. And the enemy would very much like for you to give up. He would like for you to look at your struggle and look at your situation mm -hmm. and say, you know what? I quit. I give up. I just, you know, there's no hope for me. But you got to remember, you didn't just get here on your own. That's true. You know, you didn't just, you know, pop on the scene and here you were. No. At the, at the beginning of time, God had a plan for you. Mm -hmm. He had a destiny for you. He had, he, he, he knows the plans that he has for you right and they're good and not of evil and so whatever you're struggling with today whatever um you're dealing with today you may have to go through that struggle there have been many people in the bible who god used and they were struggling yes <laughs> and they had to struggle through what they went through but just like this old preacher told me one time it's better to have god and not need him than to need god and not have him <laughs> you need God in your life, no matter yeah. what you're going through, no matter where you at in your life. Right. And it's as simple as accepting Him, believing in Him, and confessing Him as Lord of your life. And 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 even if you're in a place where you know God, but you're still struggling, hang in there. Yes. Hang in there. Hold on. God's going to get some glory out of your situation. He's going to get the glory out of what you're going through. If He did it before, He can do it again. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so 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 uh, if I, if I can say anything to to anybody is, you know, I know the struggle is rough, the struggle is real, but guess what? God is real too. Yes. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of the Church House Snapshot interv Interview with Gerard Brooks, uh, singer, songwriter. <laughs> um, Worshipper, for, for real, sure enough. <laughs> and um, so, brother, again, thank you so much. Man, my pleasure. All right. Always a pleasure. All right, man. Fake time. All right, until next time. Peace. Fake time. Fake time. Fake time. Fake time. Fake time. <laughs> <laughs>